Across North America, hundreds of ghost ski towns can be found, with trails cut into mountainsides decades ago that now lay dormant, waiting to be rediscovered. There's something creepy yet fascinating about abandoned places, and in this video we'll explore the landscapes and history of six abandoned ski resorts, where decaying lifts and broken down shacks are surrounded by clean, pristine powder. Fortress Mountain Resort, Alberta. Deep in the Canadian Rockies lies the abandoned Fortress Mountain Ski Resort, a hauntingly beautiful reminder of a bygone era. This once thriving winter playground has been frozen in time, a ghostly relic of the past. Fortress Mountain's history began in 1967, when a group of visionary entrepreneurs set their sights on this pristine corner of the Rockies. They saw an opportunity to create a world-class ski resort that would attract skiers from around the world. They invested millions of dollars in developing the resort, building chairlifts, lodges, and trails that would rival any of the top ski destinations in North America. For a time, Fortress Mountain thrived. The resort was a hub of activity and skiers flocked to its slopes and lodges. But as time went on, Fortress Mountain began to face challenges. Competition from other ski resorts in the area intensified, and the cost of maintaining and upgrading the resort grew ever higher. Despite the best efforts of its owners and staff, Fortress Mountain struggled to stay afloat. Allegedly, the resort was still making money but needed a capital infusion, which never came. Finally, in 2004, the decision was made to close the resort for good. The chairlifts were shut down, the lodges were boarded up, and the slopes were left to the elements. However, the story of Fortress Mountain isn't over. The current owners announced in the beginning of 2022 that they will reopen the lifts and ski resort in December 2023. Berthoud Pass, Colorado In the heart of the Colorado Rockies, you could once find a lively ski resort, but today it's merely a forgotten gem of the skiing world. This once popular winter destination has been left to the elements, a shadow of its former self. Berthoud Pass's history dates back to the early 1930s, when a group of skiers first discovered the area's stunning natural beauty and challenging terrain. They quickly recognized the potential for a ski resort and set about building one. Over the years, Berthoud Pass grew in popularity, attracting skiers from around the U.S. The resort expanded, with new chairlifts, lodges, and runs added to meet the demands of its growing clientele. But despite its success, Berthoud Pass faced challenges. The harsh mountain climate, with its unpredictable snowfall and extreme weather conditions, made it difficult to keep the resort operating smoothly. And as newer, more modern ski resorts opened in the area, Berthoud Pass struggled to keep up. In 2002, the decision was made to close Berthoud Pass for good. Today it serves as one of the most accessible and iconic backcountry skiing areas in the country. Neville Grand Resort, New York The Neville Grand Ski Resort in New York's Catskill Mountains was once a vibrant hub of winter activity, attracting thousands of skiers and snowboarders every season. But today, the once thriving resort lies abandoned, its slopes overgrown with weeds, and its buildings crumbling into disrepair. Yet the history of the Neville Grand is a fascinating tale that speaks to the rise and fall of the ski industry in America. The resort was founded in the 1950s by the Parker family, who transformed a small family farm into a ski destination. With the addition of a hotel and restaurant, the Neville Grand quickly became a popular winter getaway for families and ski enthusiasts from all over the Northeast. In the 1960s and 1970s, the Neville Grand enjoyed its heyday, with the installation of several new ski lifts and the construction of a massive indoor pool and spa complex. The resort even hosted several major skiing competitions, cementing its reputation as a premier destination for winter sports. However, as the ski industry began to change in the 1980s and 1990s, the Neville Grand struggled to keep up. The rise of larger, more modern ski resorts took its toll on the Neville Grand. Despite efforts to modernize the resort, including the addition of snowmaking equipment, the Neville Grand eventually closed its doors in 2009. Marshall Mountain, Montana In Montana's Flathead Valley, the Marshall Mountain Ski Resort was once a beloved winter destination for skiers and snowboarders alike. Today, however, the slopes lay dormant and the resort buildings stand empty. 
Marshall Mountain traces its roots back to the 1940s when it was founded as a small community ski hill. As interest in skiing grew across the country, so did the popularity of the mountain. And by the 1960s, the resort boasted several lifts and trails. In the 1970s and 1980s, Marshall Mountain saw a period of significant expansion, with the addition of more runs, lifts, and even an outdoor amphitheater for concerts. The resort became a hub for winter sports enthusiasts and live music lovers alike, hosting numerous events and concerts that drew large crowds. However, the resort's fortunes began to wane due to a lack of consistent snowfall, and despite efforts, the resort struggled financially and eventually closed in 2003. Since then, the resort has sat abandoned, a haunting reminder of its former glory. However, the property has found new life as a destination for outdoor recreation, with hiking and mountain biking trails that wind through the stunning natural landscape. Ski Rio, New Mexico. In the breathtaking Sangre de Cristo Mountains of northern New Mexico lies the abandoned Ski Rio. This resort first opened its doors in the late 1980s, offering skiers and snowboarders a unique experience. And with its many gentle runs, it quickly became a favorite among families. But despite its initial success, Ski Rio struggled to compete with larger, more established ski resorts in the area. The main reason was the lack of consistent snow and no other activities to do besides skiing during the day. At night, guests couldn't do anything but sit in their rooms. As a result, the resort changed hands several times over the years, with each new owner hoping to turn its fortunes around. Unfortunately, Ski Rio eventually closed its doors for good in 2000. Since then, the resort has remained abandoned, left to decay, and to be overtaken by the elements. Today, Ski Rio attracts explorers who enjoy skiing in the quiet backcountry. Hogback Mountain, Vermont. Just south of present-day Mount Snow in the Blue Ridge Mountains is the now-abandoned Hogback Mountain Ski Area. This resort opened in 1946 and was once a family-friendly, thriving ski resort. The story of Hogback Mountain Ski Resort begins in the early 1940s, when a group of enterprising locals saw the potential for a ski resort in the area. With the help of investors, they set about developing the mountain, building ski runs, smaller lifts, and chalets. By the late 1960s, Hogback Mountain was a popular ski resort in the region, attracting thousands of visitors every winter. Over the next two decades, the resort underwent several expansions and upgrades, with new runs and lifts added. But in the early 1980s, things began to change. Rising expenses and a lack of snow resulted in limited operations during these years, and the resort struggled to earn money. In 1986, Hogback Mountain Ski Resort closed its doors for the last time. Since then, new owners have tried to reopen the resort, but the mountain has remained abandoned, with nature slowly reclaiming what was once a bustling ski resort. Thank you for watching. Have you ever visited an abandoned ski resort? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos.